I was mentioning this um, one possibility that we are living on a three-dimensional surface, but that there are other dimensions out there. And in string theory, you would need 10 dimensions. And it's possible, there, there's a number of different possibilities. One is that and at every point in this room, there's a tiny curled up dimension that we don't know about because nothing that we, that we can't go in there is too tiny. And nothing we know about can fit in there either. Maybe gravity can communicate through these additional curled up dimensions. That's one possibility. The other possibility is that the other, one of the other dimensions, or more of them, could be large and cut off at the other end by another kind of another brain similar to ours. So people wonder, well, what is the effect of the of the matter? Is there some kind of dark matter on that other brain, and that's actually what we're seeing when we look at galaxies? Or is there when when the uh, accelerator at CERN, the LHC, um, when, when they're taking data? Are they going to see missing energy that leaks out into the extra dimensions? Um, this again would require it, so the exact extra dimensions to be somewhat larger in order for that to happen, but it is certainly possible. Oh, another project that I worked on, this one was a lot of fun. Um, if we're living on, this, on a three-dimensional surface like that, and it's possible for some gravitational signal, or I don't know what kind of, of signal, something to leave our brain go into the extra dimensions and then come back in the, in the distant future. And if the shapes are right, so imagine, imagine our brain is curved and the extra dimension, so I, I'm, I guess I'll try to illustrate this. So our, our brain is like this and in the extra dimensions you can cut it off by, by, you can do a shortcut path by cutting across. Then you could communicate information in a way that looks like it's faster than the speed of light. So that would be fun. It is a spatial, uh, I am thinking in terms of spatial extra dimensions. So not time. Well, there are some models where you have additional time dimensions, but what I'm talking about now, you still have the single time dimension. But the, um, so and we have here, you know, the, you move to the right, you move up, you move the three dimensions that we're used to. And probably you could just keep going on infinitely in any of those directions. Whereas the other dimensions I'm talking about, like I said, they're, if, if they're small, then um, so where I'm sitting right now, I could move in the x direction, I could move forward, I could move in the y direction, I could move to the right, I could move in the z direction, I could move up. But I cannot move in this other direction because I'm too big. So these other directions are, are, they're like curled up little circles and they're just really tiny. That's, that's one, in, one possibility. Thank you.